everyone welcome to this vlog it's actually me from the future because i filmed this clip and realized that the voice was kind of muffled so i want to come in and say hi i'm georgia k i'm a second year history phd student at brown university and i make day in my life vlogs week in my life vlogs vlogs and other sort of lifestyle content stuff about my apartment so if you're interested you should definitely subscribe but in today's video it is a day in my life and i'm just taking you through my normal sort of routine i had um office hours classes meetings and all that good good stuff all within the day and so I show you guys all of that in this vlog and also I do want to say I did change my hair I went ginger for the fall so this is a little preview if you will um that what I would look like for the next couple of vlogs um but yeah lots of fun things in this video so I'm excited for you guys to see it just opened my Amazon package and I just picked up a few really miscellaneous items. I opened this box and I was like, what did I even order? Um, I got these puppy bites for Harley because she really loves them and they're really cheap on Amazon. So I always try to get them in bulk whenever I can because she just ran out of them. And then I got some vitamin D gummies because I remember last semester I really struggled with seasonal depression. So I'm trying to be ahead of it this time. And I remember my therapist saying that I should get vitamin D. Um, and I remember I actually did blood work and I was deficient in vitamin D. So I was like, I should probably get this. I really hope this is the right one. I hope this works. So I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know if I actually end up noticing a difference. But who knows with supplements? It's kind of like up in the air. And then this last one is so freaking random, but it's just like wipes for like Harley's ears because she tends to get ear infections. And so I figured that this might work, who knows, but I saw really good reviews of this one and her ears are like pointy. So they often like get stuff in them. And I figured that this might be a good thing to have on hand. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no Okay, so I'm actually, I just got back from Paige Robertson. I had to stop there very briefly because I had a question about my taxes. It's been a whirlwind day because I had a meeting and then I had to run to campus, then I had another class. And now I have two hours of office hours. I have about three people who signed up for my office hours. So I'm gonna be here on campus for a little bit while longer, but I'm happy I got that tax question cleared up. And now I just gotta sit down and I'll talk to my students.
Okay, so I'm in the grad lounge right now and I am reading a chapter for um, this book that I need to do for my source for my article. So essentially I'm doing an article on black labor history where I'm in a class right now where the second year cohort we're working on our papers for a potential journal. I really do think I want to submit this article to a journal so I'm trying to like actually do it right as opposed to just sort of like brushing it off. Um, it is a lot of pressure trying to write something that makes sense for like other academics to read but I figure now or never and so I have a few primary sources that I need to read for that because I've already done a lot of the research in the summer if you haven't seen that vlog I vlogged my summer research I went to Emory and um, looked in their archives and I'm using a lot of the sources from that for this paper and so yeah so I actually haven't started writing the paper yet but I want to finish up research this week preferably today or tomorrow so that I can get to the writing stage because it's only three weeks until I actually have to workshop it with the other people in my class and so it's a short turnaround but I'm hoping that will inspire me to write faster because honestly I usually wait till the last minute to write which is not the best and so I'm hoping this time I can kind of refine my process which is always something I'm trying to do but I'm excited about this topic that's what my meeting was about this morning I had to talk about um the progress that I'm making on the paper and um my professor seems excited about it I'm excited about it and so I really do feel like it's gonna be good um who knows when I'll actually try to like publish it to a journal or something like that um I'll wait until it's like somewhat polished but something I learned this semester was that it takes a while for journals to get back to you and so I would rather do it before my third year we'll see we'll see that is the goal that is the hope at least and so that's what I'm trying to do but yeah uh, I'm gonna do this and then in 10 minutes I have um, another student that I have to work with um, for my TA class but just trying to focus a lot of today which is Tuesday um, to use to Tuesday as my work day for my research and then um, use my Wednesdays for like actual other class kind of stuff and so that's what i'm trying it now we'll see if the schedule works for like the next few weeks Talking crazy, I need you running my 